Welcome to the Weather Guru's current weather forecast for the week of April 10th, 2022. We're currently looking at the current surface map in the GFS model here. And I want to preface this by saying that the Storm Prediction Center, SPC, has issued a enhanced to marginal risk for the center of the country, uh, the heartland, anywhere from Dallas-Fort Worth area up through Oklahoma City, through Kansas City, Missouri, all the way up through uh, Iowa, uh, in western Tennessee and back through the Ozarks, there's a chance of enhanced to severe weather, uh, tornado outbreak Tuesday into Wednesday, specifically we're concerned about it here. And so we can see we put the map into motion here. Sunday, y'all was quiet. We get a low pressure system developing, some rain showers developing in 48 hours, and then all of a sudden, boom, we have that storm come across there, that deepening low pressure uh, that's going to bring that system through here. We're going to get it through here. Uh, the current day one outlook is showing uh, nothing going on um, as far as there's an enhanced risk. But in the midsection of the country here, we're going to be seeing the enhanced risk here. And this is specifically on the day three severe weather outlook here. There's enhanced risk of tornadoes, um, of, of strong winds, uh, very large hail and supercell tornadic activity along the dry line here. That's from Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, Kansas City, Missouri, and Omaha, Nebraska for that enhanced risk on day three. A slight risk all the way extends all the way to Iowa, all the way back through Alexandria, Shreveport, uh, Louisiana, Beaumont, Texas, uh, Little Rock, up into the Ozarks there, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and on through there, as you can see here. So this is what we're really concerned about here, and the SBC has issued a uh, enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms across parts of the southern central plains into the mid-Missouri Valley here. Um, this is going to be a multi-day tornado outbreak here. Um, you can see there's a 30, there is a big chance here that we can see storms coming. We can see tornadic supercells here. And then as we get into later on, you can see that the, the uh, severe weather uh, cools off uh, later on by Friday, Saturday. But is this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that we have to get through. Today, there's a slight risk um, in Oklahoma, eastern Oklahoma, and into Missouri. And as you can see, the setup here right now, we have that deepening upper low that's going to be coming across here. Right now, we only have showers and storms um, in the upper plains, North Dakotas, a few snow showers in the Cascades. Everywhere else is pretty clear, albeit a little bit cold. The temperature profile looks to be showing here. You see that surging warm air um, in the southern Sun Belt, and that's going to meet this cold air. And once again, you're going to have a first, first true clash, of, along with the subtropical jet coming down here, a first true clash of warm air and cold air, cold Canadian air coming in right along Tornado Alley and Dixie Alley. And this is what we're working with, working with those warm temperatures, those warm dew prints, and it's going to clash right here in the center of the country, um, America's heartland. So you want to be prepared for that as well. Um, even if you don't get a supercell uh, tornado that produces tornado, there could be large hail up into one inch or one inch and a half diameter, as well as damaging winds, straight line winds, um, and, and heavy rain. Okay, so that's what we need to look out for too as well. So uh, as we put this uh, ensemble model. Let's go to another model here. I want to show you here. Uh, let's go to the, the, the European model. I want to show you what they have it here. This is the average here rain here. And you can see the rain coming in off the Pacific coast. It had deepening low pressure there. And uh, in about 48 hours to 72 hours, it develops. And, and there we have this. It's, it's, it's too early to tell what's going to be the hot spot for there will be an outbreak. But we don't know. It's too soon to tell where it's going to be as far as that. And as you can see, the metal scale model here shows here uh, the deepening. Let me rewind it here. Go back here. Uh, into the initial 12 hours. It's going to develop later on. But you can see this line developing right here. This deepening low pressure up in the upper Midwest. And that trailing line there of severe storms right in the middle of the country here. It's going to develop and come across and push across here in the next 72 hours here. Um, and that goes through the next two days here. So that's in the Mexico model. You can see uh, the three kilometer model here in the Mexico model. Once again, you can see, I put that in the motion. we we'll go back here, put that in the motion here for today. And you can see we do have showers and storms developing, increasing here. That enhanced risk in the middle of the country here. As you can see, there's that line developing right there. And that's on Monday, you can see some strong storms, not quite the peak of it yet. But on Monday, you can see the strong storms developing across the central plains. And then it continues through Monday night, strong storms in the mid Mississippi Valley up into the Ohio Valley. And Tuesday, it continues the strong storms along that front there. 
and then you can see it continues on Tuesday and into Wednesday. So we're really concerned about that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame here, um, according to the Storm Prediction Center here. And it's going to be that bullseye there. We can see supercell tornadoes, um, possibly EF3s, EF4s, and this tornado outbreak on Tuesday. Uh, obviously, we can see the rain and wind here. Uh, let's get some more information on that here. Um, I don't want to go there, but you can see the uh, the national map here. This is National Weather Service current hazards. We do have a lot of red flag dry air here in place here. Uh, red flag warnings from New Mexico, western Texas, um, on into the Mississippi and some other areas here. Um, and this is going to be the setup for um, strong winds. We had that strong subtropical jet, jet max coming in on Tuesday and meeting the cold, dump, dense air uh, kind of a shower layer, a loft of cold air coming down from Canada, and that's going to meet right in the center of this country. As you can see, we already have wind watches. Uh, this looks like a high wind warning, uh, high wind watches, high wind warnings issued for the eastern third of Texas, eastern Oklahoma, all of Arkansas, mostly, and uh, virtually uh, the western half, two thirds of Louisiana. And this is because they're going to have strong turning of winds. What you need for these severe thunderstorms is you need, of course, the four ingredients we all know, the lift, the wind shear, the instability, um, you know, and, and as well as the, uh, the the meeting of the air there, the cold and warm air there, mixing a super stale tornadic thunderstorms, which you will have on Monday and Tuesday. So we can see here we have the issue, the warnings issue. Once again, I'm going to show you the GFS model here, and I'm going to show you what's going on here. In terms of, we're going to look at the NAM, the North American model too, but I want to put this in the motion here and I want to show you the ensemble map here. So you can see here the low pressure system is going to come out of out of the upper Midwest um, and, 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 and Montana area and sweep down into the central area of the country. And that is going to create uh, the storm that we know of right now, uh, the severe weather profile. And because we have this warm surge of air here, temperatures are in the 60s, uh, upper, middle to upper 60s here along the coast and up surging up here going to meet this cold air um, and that's going to create the perfect environment for these tornadoes to grow and along with the wind shear and the instability and the lift and all of that that we talk about the dew points um, it's going to create the perfect environment for a two-day tornado outbreak on sometime tuesday into wednesday uh, afternoon so that's going to be the tornado outbreak so if you're in oklahoma city uh, tulsa dallas Fort worth kansas city missouri um, up through Omaha, Nebraska, in that area, you want to be prepared. Even so, in Little um, and and, and um, Arkansas, as well as um, as uh, Hammond, I mean not Hammond, Louisiana, but I mean Sweetport, um, down through Beaumont, and along that area, you wanna, somewhere along there, you and even as far as Western Tennessee, I would be on alert for Memphis, Tennessee, down through Greenville, Mississippi, I would be on alert for strong tornadoes um, and possibly rotating systems, uh, hail greater than one inch winds greater than 58 miles an hour severe thunderstorm warning category in the tornado category as you can see the stage is setting ripe so enjoy today enjoy tomorrow things will be going deteriorating uh tuesday morning into wednesday and that's in the peak of this system as um everyone is forecasting that from the weather center to the storm prediction center to the uh national weather service so be prepared for that this has been your update for the week uh thank you very much for joining me and i'll see you in the next video